it's Lux for Point TV, and I'm here at Weber Chevrolet, and we're going to talk about automobile maintenance. Can I get some assistance from my friend Mike? Hi, Mike. Hi, good morning. How are good you? Morning. Welcome to the dealership. Thank you for having me. So today I'm going to learn about automobile maintenance, right? Yes, the easiest stuff in the world is fluids because everybody needs to check them. Everybody needs to stay on top of things like that. So now we're going to do some antifreeze and put some stuff where our windshield wipers go. Yep. Right here, a piece of cake. Most cars have it on the left side, so it's easy to do. So just grab the jug, and we're going to pour. There's no indicator on this one. You just pour it till you, uh, till it almost comes out. Uh, there you go. Oh. Look at that. Perfect. Keep going till you see it come up the neck, and that tells you you're just about perfect. Look at that. Oh. So that was it. And just close that back up. And because who's the pro here, oh, Mike yeah. or me? Because there's alcohol in it, and when our engine compartment, that alcohol gets warm and evaporates. So you need to check that. Really, really, particularly, like I say, winter, summertime, not so much. Wintertime, you've got to have it or you can't see. So it's good stuff. And like I say, that can be obtained anywhere. This is just kind of a jug of stuff we got here. That's very important. Windshield wipers. Big need time. that. What's next? Uh, easiest thing probably to do, uh, any freeze is something that you probably don't maintain very often. But because they're translucent, you can see where they need to be. This stuff's under pressure, so when the engine's running and you shut it off, it gets very, very hot and very, very pressurized. So, like they say, if you got a no, you know, don't do this kind of warning kind of stuff, you would only do that if the engine was stone cold, first thing in the morning. Make sure the car has been off for multiple, multiple hours. You Long don't want to burn your hands. No, absolutely not. But you can kind of visually see where it's at. If it's about midway, and that's where we need to be. If it's really, really low, you need to get service quick because it's going somewhere. It doesn't evaporate. All it does is leak. Ooh. Brake fluid is kind of the same way that's our probably third most important fluid. It's another one. It's translucent, and you really don't want to be opening and closing it all the time. But that one's a piece of cake. There's no pressure. There's no heat. It just kind of seals up. Same kind of deal. You get a smaller can of brake fluid. They're not really expensive. And you can just top it off till it's at the midway level. You can see them. Um, so it seems like there's pretty much some sort of indicator on all of these yeah. where the fluid needs to be. That's what's nice about it. They're kind of universal symbols. You may not know them at first, but they catch your eye. If you don't want to open yep. it, they'll warn you. I was going to say, that, that warning symbol that says, kind of, yeah. this definitely says windshield wipers. And that looks like a stop sign, so I can definitely tell that that's for my brakes. Perfect. Transmissions on most of my modern you know, engines, they don't have a dipstick on them. They have a fill plug because there was some problems. It can be problems. People confusing fluids. Our uh, new coolant is red. Transmission fluid is red, and if you mix the two, bad trouble. No so bueno. they've kind of eliminated the, dip, the dipstick on most of my transmissions, and we have to check that when we do the oil change. Okay. You have to check it while it's up in the air. So that's one of those kind of things. If it's not leaking, you don't have to worry about it for almost the life of the car. Ooh. So that one's kind of easy. That's my favorite one. Yep. The one I don't have to do anything yep, to. That's the best. Even though after you watch this, you're now a pro, you can have the people at Weber Chevrolet help you through all of this. All you need to do is make an appointment. You can either call them, or for those of you with fancy phones, they've got their own iPhone app where you can just make the appointment from the phone. It's super simple. They'll take care of everything. The people here at Weber will make sure that you are all good to go.